Columns are sure are certainly independent, definitely independent. If if they're perpendicular. Oh, I've got to rule out the zero column. Let me give them all length one, so so they can't be zero. If they are if they are perpendicular unit vectors. Like the vectors 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. Those vectors are unit vectors. They're perpendicular, and they certainly are independent. And what's more, suppose they're, oh, that's so nice. I mean, what is A transpose A for that matrix, for the matrix with these three columns? It's the identity. So here's the key to the, to, to the lecture that's coming. If we're dealing with perpendicular unit vectors, and the word for that will be ortho, see, I could have said orthogonal, but I said perpendicular, ortho, and this unit vectors gets put in as the word normal, orthonormal vectors. Those are the best columns you could ask for. Matrices with whose columns are orthonormal. They're perpendicular to each other, and their unit vectors, well, they don't have to be those three. That is our absolute favorite pair of orthonormal vectors. They're both unit vectors and they're perpendicular. So, like our job next time is first to see why orthonormal vectors are great and then to make vectors orthonormal by picking the right basis.